Alright, hey YouTube. Um, I'm doing the next part of this series, and, uh, yep, as you can see here, I got Milkshake open. Quite the obvious thing there. Uh, I got a bit of a headache right now, so any way I explain it might be a little vague, don't mind it. It's, it's because of me. Um, I'm just going to show you a quick example of what I'm going to be talking about. It will discuss about more complex animations and two-hand weapons. You see here, this is an AK-47, if you haven't seen this already. Uh, I modeled this actually just today. And it's the fourth one I've ever, it's the fourth AK I've modeled. It came out really good. It's the best one of them, of all four. Um, you know, the iron sights, they match. This is about animated. This isn't the full, complete animation I'm going to be doing. It only has simple fire and reload. I never do animating or loading like that. Never. The way I do it, I got two hands and all the all the fancy stuff, you know. Uh, this is just for alpha. I just want to make a quick reloading so it doesn't look like you're looking at nothing or the really weird tier tactical kind of reloading. I don't understand that kind at all. Um, all right, so let's go back and let's grab up something I can. Uh, How about this? We'll get a box. We'll do some quick extruding. You know what? I'm not going to do extruding. I'm just going to put a box inside of a box because I can. So, I don't care. Alright, box inside of a box. Pretty nice. Scale that. Scale that. Uh, yeah, looks okay. Um, do do do. All right, basic, cool. All right. What am I making? I have absolutely no idea. I'm just trying to make something quick so I can example it. Yep. Cool. I got a gun. Epic. Awesome. All right. Now let's open up the hands model. Scale it down. Wow, that's a terrible looking pistol. I guess it's a pistol. Not saying anything. Alright, grab it. Alright, cool. We got ourselves the cheesiest pistol you'll ever see. It's a box with a box inside of it, with a box growing out of it. Awesome. Alright, so let's take our joint. You know what? I don't care. You can do it two ways. You can do it so you have one joint here and one joint here and one joint here. And I'm calling them mount. Ugh, sorry. We call this one mount point, this one muzzle point, and this one eject point. But I'm going to do it so I annoy all you critics. I'm going to hook them up up together. Ha <laughs> ha. So we're going to do it like that. So we're going to do a mount point. Attach it at the muzzle point. Go back. Attach it to eject point. And rename them as so. We're going to do this simple. Alright. Now let's get... We're not going to mess with the right hand, so let's get the left hand. And make it something simple. Be specific about that and the magazine I guess is the magazine inside. Alright, rename that. Alright, select everything and you control A and assign. Uh, now you go to left hand and the left hand model assign magazine. Same thing. 
a sign. Alright, I'm not going to do a fire animation. Waste of time for this tutorial. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the left hand comes out. Animate set keyframe. Next to the magazine. Ooh, you know, I did something wrong here. Hold up. Pardon me on that. Got to use the mount hold joint, the main mother joint, and the first keyframe animate set keyframe. Then you go to the next, then you do it. My mistake. Sorry. All right. Now take that. Do that. Bring it down. Animate set keyframe. You know what? Let's go Sergeant A. Walter style. And we'll do that. I'm going my own speed because you know how, by now how to model, how to animate, and how to do all of it. I'm just showing you how I would do it in the most basic format. Animate set keyframe. keyframe. Alright, we'll go back. Alright, set keyframe. Alright, set keyframe. Now we'll go back to the main mother joint thing. Go back. and paste it there so it looks like it's all perfectly fit. Move that into position. And we should be done by here. I'll just go back and get the original one so it fits together. Paste. Alright, so keyframe. It shouldn't look a little weird, but it's gonna work because I told it to. I didn't really tell it to, but you get the idea. Let's make all of these stand still. Okay. Ah, get back here. Animate copy. Animate paste. Make something like this. Yeah, it's not that bad. Could have seen better. <laughs> Let's see how it came out from this side. Yep. That's as basic as you're gonna get. This is simple pulls the clip out puts the clip back in simple now if you want some emphasis reason why I put the mount point is because it's attached to this so like let's say you really do reload a gun you can rotate it correctly it's part of the reason why I do it so I don't want to add the extra joint so say when he puts that in we rotate it back a bit and we lift it up and we go back here and we get the original position. Now what happens here is a little bit of a bug with Milkshape. Is see here how it's moving on its own all the way to that keyframe. You're going to want to do some fidgeting and all the keyframes before it. Paste it back to what it was. You're going to have to like, for, you're going to like quote unquote hack it so it stays. If if those, if these skeleton joints here, if these connectors are yellow, then there's a solid, there's a solid frame set, there's a solid animation set. But if they're green, then they're free to be edited by the program itself. So, anything that would be green would have been moved like that. And after it, paste. Yep. So you put the clip in and you reload it like that. You take it in, you get a bit of a kick when you put it in. It's a little. That should do it. Alright, you see? See what I did there? 
All right, that's that's your basic two-handed animating for loading. Now, whatever. Now, you're probably gonna ask, you know, what do I do with the with the animation? Do exactly what you did before. You export it, and you make two. Let's say you're to have a simple gun with a fire animation and a loading animation. You name both of them according to whatever you want. You can name reloading cake for like here and you put that in the sequences in the statements. Uh, name it like reload and when you go into the sequences it asks you what kind of animation you want when you run out of ammo and you put in reload. You're gonna have to look at some different weapons that have reloading code on it and the statements and whatnot and just edit in that. I will mm, I'll think about it. I may add a, a link in the description to a simple weapon with reloading and ammo, like Left 4 Dead kind of. I may. I'm not, I'm not sure about it yet. I'm probably not going to because the point here is to get you started and to get you to explore like I did. I found all this stuff on my own. I don't want to make it too easy because it will be a bit unfair for others. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And this is part three or four or five, I don't care, it's the next part of the series. Next part where I should have started in the beginning is how do you actually model? For the people who have been watching this and have no idea what I'm talking about and how to do it, now you have the, now you have the option to learn. So, tune in next time and I'll show those people how to actually model. Alright, uh, I forgot to mention one more thing. When you, oh, I think I, I, okay. When you're inside of a of your code weapon, you're gonna have two different data block uh, areas. It's gonna be item data and shape base item data, image data. The item data is what's gonna appear on the brick. And well, for the shape for this, that's basically what's gonna appear on the brick when you pick it up. Over here is what you actually hold. Now. If you have a two-handed weapon, when you see it on the brick, I don't think you want to see a gun with two hands. So you're going to want to make two different um, DD. You want to export it twice. One of them, all the animations, all the hands, everything. And the other one, you don't want to have hands. You don't want to have animations. You don't want to have joints. And you don't want to have all the internal parts if you do. Like if you have like interior bullets when it when it fires you see the bullet chamber you can delete those to save on file size and poly so this is a little reference make sure you make two two different ones and name them correctly oh and well you might as well try making your zips like this nice and organized folders uh, all your all your CS files in the front and if you make like multiple weapons for a certain pack, try and put them in one. When you when you give these out to people eventually, if they do become really good add-ons, they're gonna like that. They're gonna like to see the organization in accessibility. So this is final note. Hope you guys know how to do it.